Hi, I'm Naomi. I'm Jack. And welcome to our channel. So, let's be real, we all sweat, right? I, in particular, sweat a lot. Can you confirm? I can confirm he sweats a lot. Sadly, but she loves me anyway. I've been struggling with sweating ever since I hit puberty, basically. I've tried everything from prescription antiperspirants to these ones that say they last like five days to like two days. I've tried putting one all the time, I've tried not putting one all the time. So basically for the last couple years, I stopped experimenting and just resigned myself to the fact that I was gonna sweat quite a lot. I had been using like a sure men's stick deodorant. It helped a bit, right? It wasn't too bad. So that's what I had been just coping with for a while. Until over Christmas time, I saw a sponsored Instagram post talking about nud. What's nud? This is nud and Jack will be telling you all about his experience with the company, the product and what he thinks of it. And my sweat. And most importantly, his sweat. But that's why you're here because you need to tell people how much I smell. Real honest feedback. And also at this point, let's say that this video is not sponsored. But before we get into it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you're new here. All right, let's go. When I saw this advert came up, I tried to do a bit of research to find it and pretty much every post or everything I could find about it was like a sponsored ad thing. So this is why I wanted to make the review to give you guys an unsponsored, unpaid feedback on the product so you know whether or not it works. All right, let's get into it. Did it work? So first let's talk about Nud and the product. They brand it as the carefree deodorant. Now, let's be clear and make the distinction between deodorants and antiperspirants because this is something you might take for granted, but a deodorant stops you from smelling because of your sweat and an antiperspirant is meant to stop you from perspiring, right? So this was not the right product for you? Well, so, so, <laughs> this is what it comes down to. I've tried so many like hardcore antiperspirant things like full of silver and all sorts of things that are basically meant to like stop, clog up your pores and try and stop the sweat from being released. My sweat is so powerful, it has penetrated them all. I've had a couple of people say to me, well actually I don't use antiperspirant, I just use deodorant. And I thought, well, why not give it a try? For the last 10 years I've been putting all sorts of chemical sticks, roll-ons under my arms to try and stop my natural bodily process. So I thought, maybe it's making it worse. So I thought, what's the harm? Let's give my body a rest from antiperspirants just to see what its natural state is. Maybe, now I'm a bit older, it wouldn't sweat so much. Um, and then we would see whether or not this stopped me from smelling. So why don't we start by telling you a little bit about what Nud says the product should do. So reading from their website, they say, hello, we're Nud, an anti-odorant, mm. not deodorant, an anti-odorant that is magically effective for three to seven days. That's a wow. long time, isn't it? It's a big claim, three to seven days. They live for fresh armpits, so do we. Fresh as a polar bear garden party. Because it's vegan, that's right, that's the whole point. I mean, I don't know what goes in regular deodorants that makes them not vegan. Well, it says it's fresh, without aluminium, parabens, petrochemicals, and any other vague chemicals. No salts, no cheap perfume, they don't use propellants or canisters, they just put it in a bioplastic tube made from sugar cane. Hmm, so the, the ingredients it says then has silver in it. So it's interesting they say it hasn't got aluminium, they just use a more expensive metal. So, interesting. Well, no, I think silver is meant to stop with um, smells, isn't it? So yeah, that's that, that, it checks out, it checks out. Anyway, when you order it, it comes in a little cardboard box, which I throw away. So they suggest that you need to detox from whatever previous antiperspirants and deodorants you have been using before. So I ordered this around Christmas time and thought that was a good time to detox, as they call it, because, you know- You only up... subject your family to your foul smell. Yeah, I was on holiday, didn't have to go to work. So do you remember me smelling particularly bad in that period? It was a long time ago. I think ago now. I have to make a disclaimer here. My senses are a bit warped. So smelling body odor for me just isn't easy. Maybe that's why this works. I honestly think so. Oh. I do. I don't think you can smell body odor. I don't think I can because I've never noticed you to smell bad. That's good. Yeah. That is good. So even if you weren't wearing deodorant, I've never noticed. Hmm. Okay. To so be honest, I have noticed some people on these natural products 
not smell so great. So your input's going to be limited? My input's going to be limited. Well, so I detoxed for about a week and I was sweating so much. Really? Like, so much. I changed my t-shirts loads of times, you know, and it's winter, right? So it's not even hot outside and I was just sweating loads. And I definitely noticed that I smell. But I thought, okay, I'll stick with it for the process. Then I started using this tube. Basically, it is a tiny little tube and I've been using it from around about New Year's, so pretty much the 1st of January, to now. Uh, I stopped using it a week and where are we now? We're, we're in the middle of Feb. So I used it for about six weeks and the tube is still not empty and it's this small. So, so they say you need to use a tiny little drop. I've been using around about, uh, oh it is, it is quite low. Oh my word. All right, so the amount I've just put on there is way too much. That's about two days worth that I've just put on by accident. So it's a really thick, almost kind of like sun cream consistency. And you can definitely notice when you put it on, it does feel kind of sticky. Uh, so I used to put it on and then like leave it to dry for a couple of minutes. So Nud recommend you put it on once every other day to start with to work out your natural body. So they say everyone is different. Some people can get away with applying it once a week and some people can get away with applying it, you know, once every other day. So they say start with once every other day and then you can try and reduce the amount of times you apply it and see if you smell basically. So it's like a self-correcting thing. So I started off doing it once every couple of days and I definitely wasn't smelling. Great. Which is good. Um, you didn't notice any difference. Uh, so there's nothing you can actually say really in this video. Yeah. So then I dropped down to once every three days and I did find that with once every three days then I did start to lose confidence in whether or not I smelt. So for me personally, I, I think there was some time, especially when, like, when I went to the gym, because I wore this every day and I didn't put anything else on, any antiperspirants or any other deodorants. And there was a couple of times when I definitely knew I'd smelt and then I was self-conscious. For me, I ended up sticking to once every other day and that worked. And even using it once every other day, there are still some left in the tube, as you saw, and I used it for six weeks. That part of the claim checks out. And I would say that when I was using it at that consistency, I didn't really smell, which is good. But I did sweat a lot. But it's a deodorant and not an antiperspirant. Yes, exactly. It is a deodorant. But also it does say that it will give you three to seven days. So yes, using it once every two days is still better than using it every day. Mm. It doesn't take you to three days, let alone seven days. But it might do depending on, they say depending on your body. You might say, oh, well, you weren't applying it enough. I tried applying like even more to see if like applying more would make it stretch out over more days. It didn't really make a difference. So I think once you work out how much you need to apply for you, which is like a peer amount, then you're gonna get however many days you're gonna get. So if you're a person who doesn't sweat that much naturally, then it might work for you. So it might actually work for me. But you should really try it. I will. I was hopeful to start with, but yes, I sweat a lot. Like I would say in the first few weeks, I didn't really feel like I was sweating any more than when I had been using my antiper antiperspirants, but at least I didn't smell. So I started off feeling confident, and then you might remember this at least. There was quite a few days when I would go to uni, like have a couple hours of lecture, come home, and I would be drenched, and I'd be like, I've got to change my top. Not because I smelled, but because I had huge sweat patches, and I was just like, this is not comfortable. So I had to swap my t-shirts, and sometimes I was swapping my t-shirts two, three times a day, uh, because that's how much I was sweating. Didn't smell. But sweat. But that's how much I was sweating. On the one hand, you could see, well, if it can stop a serial sweater like me from smelling, that's good. But it's just not going to work. I don't like, whether I smell or not. I don't want to be walking around with these huge pools under my armpit. So to those people who already don't use antiperspirants and you're looking for maybe an, an alternative to your deodorant, if you use a spray on maybe, then I would say this is a good alternative because you know, yay for environment, veganism. Applying it once every couple of days is kind of nice. And I think when you work out the pricing, so it's about £12 for this tiny tube, uh, which is, what, like $20? But it's lasted at least six weeks. Um, I don't know when I bought mine. You've got quite a lot left. I've got a lot left. Yeah. So you pay a premium to be good for the environment, right? Um, yeah, true. And it does genuinely work. Like, do you think, have you noticed yourself smelling sometimes on that? You don't smell now, but you haven't really done much today. Yeah, I don't think it's very good actually. Okay. It's not very good at all. I've gone back to using the Shure antiperspirant because I need one. And sadly, it doesn't stop me from sweating entirely, but it does make things better. So I think my hopes of living a sweat-free life are just, they're non-existent. There is nothing in the medical universe that can stop a ginger from sweating. Mm. So, three main points for using Nud. One, I'd say it does stop you from smelling. Great, does its job. Two. If you know that you sweat a lot without using an antiperspirant, then it may not be for you, or maybe you need to find another product to combine it with. 
If, however, you've never tried not using antiperspirant or you know that your sweat levels are manageable without one, then maybe give it a go. Re you do pay a premium for the vegan nature of the product. I definitely think it is effective. I think it's probably the most the most effective like deodorant I've tried because I think I definitely didn't smell really at any point when I was using it. It didn't really matter how much I sweat so long as I kept within those two days. But I've definitely used deodorant antiperspirants where I you know, sometimes would smell towards the end of the day. You pay a premium, but I think on balance it might be worth it depending on your biological makeup. Overall, shower once a day, twice a day, change your clothes every day, and you'll be good. That's true. There are just general basic hygiene things that, that you can tick off first. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you never miss another video from us. And don't forget to leave a comment down below if you've ever tried any natural deodorants or antiperspirants or what you think. You know, would you try new? Let me know. I definitely need a new one. My one is awful. But until next time, bye. bye. I don't think I ever knew the difference between antiperspirant and well, there you go. Now deodorant. Sort of until and so, if I had just put an antiperspirant on, would I still smell? The ingredients it says then are uh, caprylic something, rickinus. Communist <laughs> oil. I'm gonna stop. So I thought maybe it's making it worse. So I thought, let me try. <laughs> they haven't even left, that's the worst no, thing. No, no, no. <laughs> right, anyway, we'll carry on. This stopped me from smelling.